What's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. This might be the first video. I'm not sure if anybody else made it, but I'm going to show you how this uh, out the front automatic knife blade works and its mechanism. So, the first time I had this, I thought it was broken because I went and looked at the glass breaker spike right here, flipped it upside down for the first time out the box, and this blade it just kind of just slipped out like <clears throat> it wasn't even attached to anything so all right kind of got mad and sent a bunch of emails and voicemails to the the people who I bought it from anyways I got this from bladeplay.com unique website got a lot of stuff out there go ahead and check it out if you guys want but anyways I'm going to show you how all this mechanism how it works from the inside the latch how it locks how the blade comes out I took this apart because I want to know how it works myself so kind of figure it out this is a rumble automatic out the front blade as you can see I can I already took it apart just to freaking mess with it it's pain, pain in the ass but it's kind of easy but this is the front plate that's what it looks like, the grooves, all the bolts. <coughs> I'm gonna put that to the side. But this here is where it locks into a spring. The spring tension, you can actually kind of just grip it, pull it, it comes right off. It's kind of strong. But just put that back. Alright, that is spring tension of where the blade flicks out and back into its safety home. And here's the blade itself. When you guys notice, this is the one that, um, how it locks. You can see this little lever right here. That's where it locks the blade. When this is pressed in, the blade slides back down and with the spring tension. And this is the lever. When you pull it back down, it shoots a spring, and the blade goes straight down, locks this other one. You see that? And this is where this locks in. The first time I got this, I switched, switched the lever and shot it against the top, and it kind of just start flicking around in there, so I kind of wondered what the hell was going on. But since uh, the safety precaution this piece right here after you shoot it out the blade shoots out with say hit my hand and it stops from there and the pressure and the power kind of just starts going like this so you get this inside the, the blade and you think the shit is broken or something but it's actually natural what you do is I'll show you when all this is put back together the blade if it hits something I'll go like this just pull it until it locks and you get a fixed blade again if you want to see how to take the blade out just pull this pin and you get the blade looks pretty strong sturdy stab a box with it pretty strong <coughs> less play inside of it but you can see the grooves where the pin sits inside and just goes in there right like, yeah so I'm put this back in <coughs> let me show you guys how this thing works so since that is in push the lever down <coughs> you get that locks in here now <clears throat> you get the spring tension I was kind of wondering how this thing works but I guess one side to pull it back down the other <coughs> side to pull it back up and you get this to lock the front you get this to lock the bottom so it's actually pretty simple mate I don't wonder why it's so cheap but all you have to do if you want to put this 
and install it back in. It's just make sure you take it out the same way you put it back in. Take the bottom <coughs> and just latch it onto the bottom of the blade because it has a small groove inside of it. I know you guys can see this, but inside right here, it's like grooves to sit this whole spring tension in. Make sure you have both grips on that. Your thumb on that spring because it'll shoot out. Sometimes the spring will just come out. But when you got this part in, you want to make sure it's a slight tension where make sure you even out. This groove is going to jump up to sit over a little groove that's been cut inside. What you want to do is kind of just, this is how I do it. Put your thumb here, push it down, and you just, you get that little click. And now it sits inside the grooves. That sits there. The blade's in. Now it's all flush. Next step is, you want to get the lock. Don't worry about this. This bottom lock's already in, so it's good. The top lock here. <coughs> the same Allen wrench I got. Kind of just poke it off to the side. Now you got it right there. You have to make sure that's in before you put the face plate back on. Now you got a working mechanism again. Put your lever on. <coughs> Just like that. And now put your face plate on. That's the first time I got it. it came out just like this. This is things I want to show you guys. Make sure it's not sharp or you don't cut yourself when you're grabbing a blade. But put pressure, hold the blade until you hear it click. <coughs> and I don't have the screws in, so I have to hold it down. So this is what you're going to get. Works just like new. Now everything's back in place. The same way you put it back in. Looking at it. You know, simple work. Pretty easy. Those of you who plan to actually make it yourself. It's actually pretty cool. Just make sure you put everything <coughs> in. Here I put like a bunch of grease. So it can slide a bunch against the metal. Because <coughs> I can already see grooves been sliding and resting cutting not resting but cut pretty hard <coughs> putting it back together I want to show you another thing this is just a fabric softener for washing clothes or whatever but when this is over the safety mechanism like some blades it won't even go through paper Oh, damn, that went through. Wow, pretty strong. But you'll get that. And when you get that, you probably think it's broken. You make a bunch of complaints. Fucking piece of shit. But all you gotta do is pull it. Locks a little small click. And you get it working new again. Let me see if this works. But, there you go guys, just showing the people of YouTubers, wondering how it works, what's inside of it, and what it does. But yeah, it's a dumbass video for people to know, learn myself, thanks y'all.